Hello, this is Brian Rio with Mythic MTG Tech doing a video today on Shadows Over Innistrad, one particular card. I was going through the spoiler list so far, putting together my top 10 list, and I came across this card. This card is crazy cool, and I just couldn't help but do an entire video on this line because I just wanted to say, try Sky Decaphobia, try Sky Decaphobia. 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 If you hadn't got it by now, Trista decaphobia is fear of the number thirteen, and somebody in Wizards R and D had hella fun creating this card. This card is too cool. Now, Tristodecophobia should not be confused with some other phobia I can't pronounce at all, which is Fear of Friday the 13th. Not the movie, the actual date. Tristodecophobia is a real fear. It's a fear so powerful that many architects don't put a 13th floor. Oh wait, they do put a 13th floor in buildings, but they rename it as the 14th floor. Like, calling it 14th floor isn't going to make it be the 13th floor? Counting doesn't work that way. You just can't skip numbers. This is one of those fears I've never really understood. Some of them, uh, spiders, needles, these are things that hurt you. 13th floors? No, I have a hard time comprehending this one. Tried to look into the history of this, and there are enough myths out there that this is truly a myth over where it comes from. Some people credit it to the Bible, other people credit it to Loki, or Satan, or some Danish myth where a kid dies because three extra people show up at his birthday party. Finding credible sources on the actual origin of Tristodecophobia is almost as difficult as understanding the fear itself. But it's crazy cool, so I'm going to credit it to Loki. From now on, anybody asks, I'm just telling them that it's Loki's fault. He's the 13th Norse god, and he destroyed the world by going after Baldur and killing him. It's Loki's fault. This card is fun. Very interesting. Very well designed. See if you can peer into this card and find instances of 13. Now, I played with the color contrast a little to make it a little bit easier, but then I actually came up with a decent color contrast version. Uh, pause the video here and see what instances of 13 you can find in this card. They've hidden a few. Okay, we're back. I'm going to walk through the ones that I have found myself or that have been pointed out to me online. I found about 11 of these, and then I found a few others by doing research online. The first real obvious one here is that we've got 13 utensils hanging up above the fireplace. We've got 13 drops of blood coming down off the wall. We have 13 boards in the lower section, and we have 13 boards that are smaller in the ceiling. We have 13 logs in the fireplace. We have 13 stones in the first arch of the fireplace, and 13 more in the outer arch. There's a plate or a mirror or something that is broken into 13 pieces. We have 13 bolts visible on the barrel. And then each mode in this has 13 words. If you don't count the individual numbers as part of the sentence, that's repeated twice. Some individuals have claimed that there are 13 trees. I have not seen that yet in the art, but it's very difficult to see that granular detail there. I look forward to seeing the full card. And this has got to be my favorite. If you add up the numbers, not including the copyright down in the bottom, and the set number, each of the numbers together adds up to 13. So we've got 13, at least, instances of 13 throughout the card. Loading Ready Run had this as a uh, spoiler for them. They did a wonderful job with their video. I recommend checking it out. Uh, Reddit had the best list, which I've got posted here, of the different instances of 13. Some retailers have also been having fun with this. Card Kingdom posted this spoiler to their page 13 times. And Star City Games was charging $1.13 for this card. Thanks for watching the channel. Here's 13 reasons to subscribe. Popper, Legacy deck text interviews vintage 
finance, pack crackings, history videos, top 10 lists, commander, giveaways, ask me anything, and the occasional social commentary. If you enjoy any of those things, please subscribe to the channel or become a patron. This channel is supported by patrons like you. Until next time, choose the cards wisely.